Honestly, when I thought this day couldn't get any better, I look over at my high-low ticker, and there's Tilray. Shooting up. All my graveyard calls are gonna go to the moon now. Some will be in the money. Focus, camera. Well, I don't know why it's focusing, but this is crazy news for Tilray, and why I'm making a video about it right now, because I know we're gonna probably be playing this tomorrow. I have my plays on it, I got those graveyards, but what I'm saying with this news, it's, it's pretty intense. Uh, I'm gonna go over it with you, because the first thought in my mind is I think it's a scam. I know it's crazy, but I've been doing some quick research. The news only came out like 30 minutes ago as I'm making this video, so bear with me. We're gonna find out more. We're gonna see how it trades tomorrow, but I'm gonna trade it live on stream, so make sure you're there, 6 a.m. We're You just go watch the last replay. You'll see what it's gonna be about, but this news is pretty crazy. So there's two pieces of news that went on. One, they did a joint partnership, not an investment, joint partnership with Anheuser-Busch. Yes, Budweiser. Yeah, I looked into this. I was like, no way, no way. It's legit. The, the brand name's there, the headline, but it's a research agreement. So they're joining together to research THC and CBD drinks or for Budweiser's case or Anheuser-Busch, they said to test non-alcoholic beverages so that they can see potential commercial opportunities in the future. But all it, all it is is a joint research agreement. They're each going to put up to $50 million. So I want to talk about this because there's some keywords. We'll go over the filing, the press release that they just released. You could check the filing out. They've already filed the 8K with it. But... The next big thing is there's a second part which I really like and that in if you guys know me and my take on the weed stocks uh, I, Again, I think they're immature the winners and losers have yet to really emerge in the long run the, the industry is still immature, but I love medical application to it. Um, I'm a huge fan of that so They also announced today that they did a partnership um, and this one was more of a, well, this was an agreement, excuse me, a framework agreement to set up a partnership to partner selling in areas where um, it's legal, medical, and I don't know about recreational, but with the company is Novartis. And that is a very, very big trusted pharmaceutical. They're big overseas. And now that's the big thing also I got to mention when I say overseas that the deal with Anheuser-Busch is strictly Canada. That's something you guys got to note for U.S. investors. And now that is Canada and same thing, Novartis. It has nothing to do with the United States. Now, the big things to notice here is there's with the weed industry right now and the stocks, because the big question is, is this going to make it run last time? Last time, Canopy got that investment it, from Constellation. The next couple days were crazy. That's why I said, watch this. We're going to play it. I even posted about it the first, a week, two ago on Canopy. They've been going down since, and now that's the only thing I'm worried about is that the weed stocks and the weed market right now is at an interesting place. Let me pull up the chart so you could even see Tilray, and even today, uh, a lot of them even got crushed, um, but there's Tilray. You know, it, it's been declining. You know, we haven't really been seeing those pops. Kind of been looking like a pump and dump lately, but that's just been the fate for a lot of these uh, weed stocks as the initial run-up, pretty much, it brought up this run-up, then you had the constellation, the legalization, but then as the midterms came around, pretty much the, you know, is sell the news type of an event, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news, people were more hyped up on what was going to happen and they overshot a lot of estimates in the market and like i said it's it's still immature and we're going to see what happens but this is a crazy development honestly i believe it's crazy and that's going to lead me to my next part i want to talk about but again markets are going to be crazy with wheat stocks this next few days i plan on trading them we are going to be watching those on stream so let me pull up the next example though because before um and maybe i should actually read you it but i'm there it, uh, it doesn't even exist anymore. The stock I'm looking for, GTAT Q. Because what I want to talk about 
when these deals get brought up, you guys see how I am with politics and history and the stuff I talk about. Well, you know, it's market experience. I've been trading for 12 years now. I'm, I'm about to approach my 12th year, and I'm going back to 2014. That sounds like so long ago, that's or so soon, but that's four years. And it's crazy to think there was this company called GTAT. And this is what this situation reminds me of. That's why I'm asking the question, is this a scam? This is what I'm worried about, is that... Anytime you see a big name partner with one of these crazy runners, especially tied to a hype bubble industry, especially weed, you got to ask questions. So there was this one penny stock. It had a run up and it went to like nine or 14 bucks. It went pretty high. I don't I think it was Nas, it was Nasdaq traded. It actually wasn't even a penny stock. Uh, and so it was kind of a Tilray situation, literally. And it got that publicity. It got everything. But what they ran up on was Sapphire. Everybody was flipping bricks. This was when the iPhone 7, I believe, or iPhone 6 even, 6 or 7, uh, was getting released, and they were going crazy over saying that Apple was going to use Sapphire screens. That was the rumor, right? And think about, it's the same thing here. How many times have you guys heard in the last few weeks, uh, oh, or last few months, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, weed, you know, we've heard that before. So that's your rumor, that's your hype. It's already been planted in people's head. Now, here comes the big name. So that's what happened with Apple. They said, oh, well, yeah, this is Sapphire's better for the screens. You know, wait till Apple does this, this, this. You know, what if they get in with Apple? That they, they plant, the rumor was planted. And then what happened moving forward was <laughs> they signed an agreement with Apple. There was news that came out, 8K came out, they signed a deal with Apple and it was a supply agreement. Uh, so it was a supply agreement, not a joint you know, research agreement, but a supply agreement. But how it was, was pretty much they agreed to, Apple gave them a loan pretty much. Uh, it was a credit line, that's all it came down to. A credit line for them to make stuff, they just had to make a certain amount and they could, Apple had the right to like buy back some of it, but pretty much Apple was giving them a loan and Apple would be paid back in either money plus interest or items. And it, you go read the deal, that's why I looked immediately for the filings on Tilray. Once we get more updates, if I get a filing, I'm gonna read all of it, we're gonna tear that apart, but it's, if you know, the filing, you read that agreement, and I was warning people on the same same situation. I was, I that one I knew more, this one I don't know yet. That one I, I knew right away. And I told them, I was like, okay, this is gonna die. This is just a loan. Apple just gave them a loan, and it's a shitty loan on shitty terms. This has no revelation to it. And people didn't care. The stock went up for a few months, and then as it came into the Apple keynote speech, they announced the new phone. No mention of Sapphire, stock pummeled, got dropped 30%, 40%, something crazy in a day. And then a few weeks later, they filed for bankruptcy and they became GTATQ. So you could look this up called GT Technologies. Go research this, but it's similar, but that's my fear with this. That's where I'm coming to say, is this a scam? Is something going on? We're gonna find out here in the future. I'm gonna be monitoring it, but at the end of the day, this is good. So if you guys want, let me pull up the... Uh, filing for you this is just the filing go on nasdaq but this is the press release and they released two at the same day which again interesting and i think i don't know if they're trying to pump it or what they got and maybe we could see if they have any notes or any offerings or a shelf offering uh, ready and maybe i should make a video on that if you guys aren't aware of that but here's the novartis one and here's the one with you know inbev or that is your um anheuser bush and they're gonna have labat in Canada do it. So everything again is Canada based, but they pretty much say, you know, today the world's leading brewer and Tilray Global Pioneer distributed announced a research non-alcoholic beverages, THC and CBD. So it's limited to Canada and decisions regarding the commercialization of the beverages will be uh, relayed in the future or will be made in the future. So the big point I'm trying to make, you guys could read this, but that's the thing. Com the key decisions uh, or any decisions will be made in the future. A lot of what they're talking about is just saying, you know, it's very neutral. You can't take this, and what I'm saying by this deal, and I read one of the releases that the Tilray CEO said they did not, he said he did not want a direct investment. That's his reason why they did this partnership, but again, from a business standpoint, all of this is saying is that Tilray is spending $50 million. That's all. So they either have to have the cash or they're gonna sell shares or they're gonna give up shares. So it makes sense why a company like 
Anheuser would do this. They have nothing to lose. They can get exactly what they want, market research, market experience, all that. But then at the end of the day, they're putting up half the bill, if that, they're getting these guys and you know it's not going to hurt their reputation if anything because they're going to say what we just said we're going to research it with one of the leading companies uh, at the time you know and we figured out how to do it they faded away so that's what i'm worried about um this isn't it's i'm going to play the hype i'm ready for the news i want to see how it is but that is on the back of my mind that unless we could see the real agreement and get terms to it and understand what's going on i don't know what's happening with it, but there is key terms, and maybe I'll leave you guys with that, and we'll go over it on stream, actually, or I'll make a recap. Go over the filing, go over the press release, tell me what you guys think, but comment below the key terms you think I have picked out, because I have some key terms that are really crucial to this deal that change a lot of things, and that make me worried, but Again, at the end of the day, watch the weed markets this next coming days. It's going to be crazy and exciting. So I'm ready. Hope you are. Love you. Stay in school. Stay, stay active. Stay active. Yeah, stay active. I should say that maybe too. People get mad when you say stay in school. No, but actually stay active. Okay, you guys got to get, you know, sitting at, at home making money all day, especially if there's another weed stock bubble. You guys got to get fit. All right, man. Get, get, get your gym in. All right. Love y'all. Peace.